Welcome back to another Simplement Data Director Overview video. This time we're going to follow up the Buena Vista management by looking at pool table views because there's actually a fair amount of crossover there. We'll probably actually tie back a little to the Dictionary Explorer as well. So in some of the other videos I've already mentioned the term pool table and I believe cluster table as well. And those are, are both similar in the sense that they are basically single physical tables that contain many distinct logical tables lumped together for storage reasons. And this is fairly common in SAP and a number of the most used tables for various reports and processes are contained within these pool and cluster tables. We have a separate process outside of the data director for dealing with cluster tables, but within the data director we can handle the pool tables and that's what I'll talk about here. So let's just click on the pool table views uh, item and we'll see what the tool shows us here. And right away we can see an example of what I was talking about where pool tables contain many distinct logical tables stored at the database level as a single physical table in the database. And two of the most common ones that you're going to run across are these tables, uh, the, the pool table, K-A-P-O-L and A-T-A-B. And these, as you can see, between them contain many, 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 many distinct logical views that, you know, cover all sorts of things like fiscal year variance, period names, industry names, etc., etc. And this isn't even an exhaustive list. This right now, what we're looking at is the pool tables that have been turned into independent views in our target database from, you know, their, their compressed pool state in ATAB or KAPOL or whatever the other table happens to be. There are other pool tables, but in most cases, it's going to be one of these two. And if you recall back to the Buena Vista management video and even some of the Dictionary Explorer videos, you can see here that all these pool table views and this pool table view column have distinct icons compared to the regular what are called SAP base tables. And that is to help indicate to the user that these are in fact pool table views, not regular SAP base tables. And we can show an example of that real quick if let's just use SAP.A004, which is actually created out of the pool table KAPOL and its material. If I switch over to the Buena Vista management tool I was in in a previous video, you can see here the source object is SAP A004. It has a Buena Vista just like any other table, but you can see it has that different icon that indicates that it is a pool uh, table view and it even has a different type here. So let me switch back to the pool table view, but and that icon will lead us to this tool and we can see that yes, it is actually a view created out of the pool table KAPOL. Like I mentioned, this is only showing the views that are currently created out of the pool tables. If we want to create new uh, pool-based table views, it's super easy. All we have to do is just go to this Create New View button up top, and it'll open a secondary window. In the secondary window, unlike the, the first window, this is actually going to be an exhaustive list of all possible pool tables that can be generated from the tables such as KAPOL and ATAB. And so we can see right away if we sort of line them up side by side. We only currently have created independent views for A004 and A005, but we can see here there's an A001, A006, 79, etc. And those can all be made into independent views if we want. And just a point of clarification about that, these green dots in the secondary window, or dots, these icons, do not indicate that the view has been created as a separate table. It indicates that the container pool table that is required to generate out the separate, separate table has been replicated and is available. Because, you know, if you just think about it logically, you can't create an independent view that is normally crammed into the pool table if you don't have that pool table replicated. And so that's why when I just scroll down to these sort of B series of view tables that come from KBPOL, this yellow icon indicates that table KBPOL is not even replicated. So I cannot create an independent view of the pool table. And I'll show that by 
trying to create one. I'll, I'll try to create B006. I'll hit OK. And the tool will tell me you cannot create that view because KBPOL is not replicated. So I can't make that one, and that makes sense, but if I scroll back up, I can make one of these A00 whatever series views that are not currently created as independent views. So let's just, for the demonstration purposes, let's just do A001. All you have to do is select the table, select the SQL Server compatibility level. In this case, the demo system I'm using is only on uh, SQL 2012 but this supports up to, you know, the current 2016 release. Uh, you just need to keep in mind that the this does matter, which compatibility level you select. And also, uh, by default, we recommend that you keep this checked, the Create Buena Vista view, because if you recall back to the previous video, the Buena Vistas are very useful. Otherwise, if you don't check that, it'll just spit out a sort of raw SAP table view. But all that said, we're going to create a Buena Vista view of A001. So I just select it, hit OK. It'll take a moment to generate the view. And now we see we're back to this main window. And SAP A001 has been added to the list of pool tables that are created. So now that the view is created, you know, let's see if there's actually any data in it. And because this is a demo uh, SAP system, you know, there very well could be no data in it. Just to test that, you don't have to go to SSMS, but you could if you want. Just right here in the tool, if I just select the view in question, go Actions, select top to 100 rows. I can see here there are no rows, which probably means that this is just a bad demo table that has nothing in it. But I think this next one, A004, should have some information. Yes, so here we can see... You know, this is the the raw SAP column. As you can see here, this you know, unlike the Buena Vistas, there's none of that. But there is a Buena Vista for that table, and I can prove that by switching to the Buena Vista management tool real quick. So I just go over here, click Buena Vista management, and we'll see here. There's actually a Buena Vista for both of them, but like we were just proving, there's no data for A001. There is data in A004. So if I were to go to SSMS, which I'll do right now. I can select from that A004 table. So I'll just delete that query I had before. I'm going to select from the BV, the Buena Vista, because it's easier to work with. And we can see here we have the Buena Vista, you know, with the nice English column names, with the generated dates, where their you know, actual date data types were applicable. And this is no longer, you know, a pool table that's jammed into the KAPOL container table with a hundred other tables. This is an independent table as far as the database is concerned, and you can treat it as such for all your query and development needs. And then also, just like the Buena Vista management tool, if for whatever reason this pool table view definition gets corrupted or there's some error or something with it, I'm oh, sorry, I'm still in the Buena Vista management, um, in the pool table view, you can always regenerate the pool table definition. And then, if necessary, you might have to regenerate the Buena Vista definition on top of that pool table. So it's a little more complicated than regular base tables, but that's just the way it is in SAP. And this tool will handle all that for you. Since we're already on the topic of pool tables, I'm going to switch to the Dictionary Explorer to show something real quick so that you can know prior to replicating anything if a table that you think is necessary for whatever you're trying to do is a pool table or not. So I'm going to use that A004 that we were looking at because it did have actual data in it. And just for continuity's sake. So I searched for that table. Dictionary Explorer found it. It's already replicated. But if I go to Properties, we'll see it's Unlike, if you recall back to the Dictionary Explorer video, where when I was looking at VBAK, where VBAK said a base table, right here in Table Class, it tells you that it's a pool table, which means it's stuffed into one of those container tables. And this is something that the Replication Manager, which is uh, our separate tool that manages replication, will handle automatically for you. So you don't have to know 
the container table that it's stuffed into, all you have to do is give the person who is controlling replication this table name. Just say, I need A004. They add that to the replication manager, and our replication manager will automatically figure out it's a pool table. I need to bring over the pool container table. And then once it's over, you can use this pool table view to, to create the views that you need. And so that pretty much covers all the functionality of the pool table view tool within the data director and how you can how you can use that to create separate tables and Buena Vista views out of what are actually pool tables. And just one final note about the pool table views and this tool and why it's necessary in the first place. Uh, for those people who are familiar with using SAP GUI, you know, you are probably never going to see these pool table names, ATAB, KAPOL, etc. in SAP GUI. And that's because SAP GUI is doing the same sort of thing where when it when it's telling you that you're in table A004, it is also you know extracting the information from A004 from this database table KAPOL. So it's hiding the fact that it's a pool table from you, but it is in fact a pool table, and so that's why it has to be dealt with here. The advantage of this though is that because we are doing all this pool table, you know, manipulation creation. And the data director, it means we're doing it on the Liberator target database. So there's absolutely zero impact on your SAP system. We're not, you know, doing an ETL extract where we're depooling this table in the extraction layer. We're just extracting over the container table, which is KAPOL, ATAB, etc. And then on the target database, we have some internal procedures that this tool executes to create your pool table views. And then from then on, it's just a regular table or view that you can use just like any other view. So that is about it for the pool table views and how this tool helps you manage them. Uh, in some of the other videos, we'll finish up the rest of the data director tools. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.